Hi, I'm Danny and these are my diecast disasters. In this video I'm going to be turning this Ken Toys martini barrel truck into a post-apocalyptic style alcohol vending transporting truck. So I couldn't find a whole heap of information about this particular toy. I could only actually find a couple of images of them online and they had a DAF tractor and they weren't branded Ken toys so who knows. Anyway I saw it in a auction and I thought it would make a cool build. So we'll take a closer look at it here. Not a whole lot of the parts on this toy are actually die cast. Most of it's plastic in fact. Only the chassis of the truck is die cast. The truck is a Mercedes SK Euro cab, I guess. See, it's quite a nicely detailed model. It's held together with screws there. And the trailer, this is all plastic. But isn't that quite cool? Like a martini barrel truck, all made out of wood. So that was why I got it, because I just thought this would be really fun to paint and modify. Anyway, remember to comment down below if you maybe owned one of these or know anything more about the toys. Okay, so we'll crack on with the customization, starting with the cab. It's three screws holding it together. Notice a lot of these cheap sort of Chinese toys are put together with screws rather than rivets. Makes them easier to take apart. And there's that big chunky cast chassis there for the truck. It's the only die cast part, but it's quite a chunky one. Okay, so that's all apart. Now I've decided I'm not going to be putting that piece of body kit back on it. I think it looks better without it. And I'm also going to have to cut off this air dam here, so I don't want that. So it's off to my Dremel and a cutting disc. Just cut the air dam off. There we go, that leaves a bit of a hole, so I filled this with some putty and then I've ground it down. So next step I'm just going to take off these couple little stickers here and then I can start fabricating the cab to look a bit more post-apocalyptic style. So I'll start out with a ball bar. And then I continue this around the side of the cab. Next I add some lights to the top there and a little bit of armour. And I put a spare wheel on the back there. I also added a visible exhaust stack there. So there's the basic fabrication done and now I can move on to painting it. So I started with some grey primer. And as the whole build will be quite brown I thought I'd make the cab pop with a light blue paint job. The next thing I did was to paint all of the metal parts. So I painted the ball bar in silver and all the rest in steel. I next applied a thin dark grey wash over the cab.
here it is after that's dried Let's see it's brought out the details and also made it look a bit grubby Next I applied some burnt red and orange rust very lightly on the metal parts with my airbrush making sure that I avoided hairbrushing too much of the blue cab and then I'm applying some rust weathering powders just dry with a cut off brush Excuse the out of focus footage there, it seemed to focus on my hands, but you get the idea. And these were sealed with a very thin coat of matte varnish. So that's the cab painted. Here's the chassis. I'm not going to bother stripping it as it's just a rough Mad Max looking build. So I hit it with some black paint. Then I painted it all with metal colour steel. And then onto the light airbrushing with burnt red and orange rust. I also detailed those cylinders at the side there in silver. Now I've painted in the tail lights. Next I applied a black wash over all of this. And I finished it with a little bit more rust weathering powder. onto the interior now so I've got a little punk driver here this is from Green Miniatures in Mad Car series these are some little modular punk guys that they've got so you can see the little parts there you can see how small it is so there we go I've glued him together and he fits into the cab there I actually had to cut his feet off Here's the interior after I painted it. So next to paint the little guy, it started out with some primer, done a zenithal priming where I painted it black and then white but only from the top down so it gives me sort of shading and then here he is after I've added colour and here he is in place on the interior on to the wheels now don't need to do too much to these i already had nice silver hubs so i just applied a couple of colors of weathering powder and then they were sealed with some clear okay so here are all the parts of the cab ready to go back together so I'll put those aside for now and move on to the trailer again just held together with some screws so I'll unscrew these and take it all apart Hey, how cool is that? I like these odd, sort of, oddly detailed toys. What on earth is a kid going to want a martini barrel truck for? Cool, so there's that all taken apart. The first thing I'm going to do is to add a little bit more wood grain detail. 
you can see a lot of these surfaces are actually just smooth there so it's not going to look very good when I paint it so I've got some 80 grit sandpaper here and I'm going to use it to cut some wood grain into all of the smooth surfaces just make sure you only pull it along in one axis And where I couldn't get in with the sandpaper, I'm just going to scratch in some grain with my craft knife. The martini barrels are only held together with these stickers. There we go, I've removed those and next I'm going to add some more wood texture to these as well. Just using the craft knife for this as it was a bit tricky to get in there with any sandpaper. There we go, I'll just compare that to one that I haven't done so you can see how much better it looks. So here's all the wood part of the trailer assembly after I've added the wood texture to it. I think you can see it already looks a bit better but it'll really make a difference when I add the paint later on. Okay so now on to some fabrication. I'll start out with some handrails. Just made all of this out of styrene. Next I added a platform up the front here. A few armor plates and I've added some poles there to put some flags on later on. There's also a couple of stands I've made here and I'm going to put some little crossbows on those. few more armor plates on the base section here. Here it is with the fabrication coming along. Built a sort of a shed on the back there. So there's the fabrication done, I'll take it all apart again and start with some painting. I begin with an Israeli sand primer all over the wood areas. I'm using paints from the Vallejo old and new weathered wood paint set to paint the wood on this. The next step was some browns, so I'm using golden brown and wood
Next I'm applying a wash. This is a dark grey wash. And this is the point where you'll see all of that detail that I've scratched in there. It'll make quite a big difference when the wash goes on. Okay, so here are all those wood parts after the wash has dried. You can really see how it's gone into all of that wood grain that I scratched in there. Make it look a whole lot more realistic. So next I painted all the metal parts. Used Vallejo metal colour steel. And I painted the hoops on the barrels in burnt iron. Next it was back to the airbrush and I've painted in some rust. Again using the burnt red and orange rust. And the same treatment for the chassis of the trailer. So then I could screw it all back together. Start adding some more little details. Made some little hoses here out of wire. I think this is like florist's wire maybe. You can use it in your garden to tie up plants and stuff. And so here's the trailer assembly. For a few extra little details, I've got some HO train accessories here, some barrels and sacks. Just paint those up and then I can stick them in here and there. I apply some rust weathering powder here and there just to give it a bit more variety. And sort of put in rust where it might gather on the poles some of these bolts and other areas like that and again this was fixed with a light coat of matte clear here are the wheels I've done the same thing with the weathering powder and a light coat of clear and here's the casing that holds the axles in painted that up and weathered it as well this just screws back on the bottom of our trailer So I figure our truck is owned by some crazy distiller called Dr. Moonjack. There's not much growing in the post-apocalyptic world apart from cactuses. So that's what he uses to brew all of his alcoholic beverages. So I'm going to make some signs for him. I've printed out my sign here on some A4 paper and I'm gluing it onto a sheet of styrene. I think it's about a millimetre, just over a millimetre thick. Okay, so it's dried and I've cut it out. Next I painted around the edges with 
the Israeli sand primer and then a light coat of the dark grey wash and that's how they came out looking now I've glued them on here and there onto the trailer I'm also going to make some little flags to put on those poles that I added so I've printed these out on A4 as well I'm cutting them out without a ruler because I want them to sort of look a bit rough There we go, there's some flags cut out. I've put a couple of drops of red paint and some water here and I'm going to use that to colour my flags red. I repeated this process again because they weren't quite red enough. And once they're dried, I use a little bit of PVA glue to glue them onto the flag poles. And so finally, I've got Dr. Moonjack here and a couple of his crew. Again, these are from Green Miniatures. I think these are guys are from the Neo Samurai set. So to paint them, I started out again with the Zenithal Primer. And here they are after I've added some colour. Okay, so that's all of the hard work done. It's just about time to see how it came out. But before that, we better just take a quick look back and be reminded of what we started with. So here it is, our Ken Toys Mercedes Martini truck. It's days of hauling around barrels of martinis for some kid uh, over. The apocalypse has gone down. Dr. Moonjack's got his hands on it. Let's see what he does with it. And here it is, our finished custom post-apocalyptic liquor vending truck made out of a Ken Toys Mercedes and Martini barrel trailer. This is a really fun project to make. It's cool to use a few of those green miniatures figurines. You can let me know what you think in the comments down below. Maybe some of you can imagine a little narrative to go along with the truck be great to read some of those in the comments as well as always a quick shout out to my awesome patreon supporters who help to support the channel through patreon thanks heaps i really appreciate it if you'd like to help out as well you can check out the link in the description down below thanks heaps to you for watching this video i really hope you enjoyed it if you did and you'd like to see similar stuff, remember to subscribe and click the bell and give it a like and share it with your friends.